Middle and High, Pasham and Terrace, Peace Art Lesson, Visionary Peace Youth Art. Our artists' fantastic imaginative works are now traveling throughout Delaware. We want you to be part of this vision of peace. The lesson. This lesson will get you thinking about peace, the world you want to live in, and what the world looks like through your eyes. What can I use? Only two-dimensional work can be displayed, but photographs are two-dimensional too. Keep your artwork to paper sizes of 8.5 by 11 inches, 12 by 16 inches, or 16 by 20 inches. You may use pens, color pencils, pencils, watercolors, and more. Hmm, let's think. What is peace? Some of last year's examples are below to help get those creative juices flowing. Notice how these students explained how their pictures show their ideas of peace. Can you write about your art too? Are you still thinking? What is peace to you? Is it teamwork, a giant hug, loving, caring for others? Is it peace around the world? Is it nature? Think, what is peace? Here are some helpful symbols of peace. For middle and high school students, what does peace mean to you? Peace is a sense of calm inside you even if the world around you is chaotic. Create an artwork answering one of the following questions. What does peace look like? Or what does the world you want to live in look like? Describe how your vision of peace comes to life through your artwork. You can share your ideas with your art teacher and they will send them on to Pasham and Terrace. What can I use to make this assignment? Take a picture. Photography is art. Paint a picture. Draw a picture. That means pencils, pens, a dirty stick rubbed on the sidewalk, or more. Color a drawing. Crayons, color pencils, markers, and many more. Use an online program. Make a sculpture. You could use clay, model magic, mud, and let it dry in the sun. Just please remember to wash off with a hose before you come back in the house. Use found objects to draw. Here are some creative ideas. The links here do not work, but they do work in the website format of this presentation. I'm going to list for you some of the links that are available. Painting. Mrs. Brenlinger's How to Make Paint video. Three different paints on YouTube. Draw or color. Drawing and coloring with nature. You can use a dandelion flower or other petals from flowers to rub on your paper. Remember, paper can be any of the following or more. Mail, receipts, printer paper, cardboard, drawing paper, or lined paper. Websites. There's the Auto Draw website, the Kidman's Drawing website, Nick Jr. Drawing website, or you can use found objects like some of the pictures below. Here are a list of websites that may be of interest to you in helping you with your piece 